Hello, this is Joseph Ally. Welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to talk about the concept of everyone is you pushed out or everyone is a reflection of you. So it says in the Bible that there is one God. It says that God became flesh and dwelt among us, but that word among actually is better translated and more accurately translated as in, so within us. It also says that um, do you not realize that Jesus Christ is in you? And it says that I and my Father are one, but my Father is greater than I. And that's Jesus Christ speaking. So basically what those few verses of the Bible, and there's many more to articulate this, but what it's saying is that you are God. And it also says that everyone is God. And so there's only one God, so that means that everyone is you. And the beautiful thing about this topic is that although it's controversial because it basically explains that no one has free will, what it does is it unlocks the power to know that you can actually do anything that you want to do. Because what I want to try to explain is that anyone that you come in contact with in your life, anyone that comes um, into your awareness is actually only playing a part that you have assigned them. And the part that they're playing has to do with your assumptions, beliefs, feelings, attitudes, inner conversations, whatever the case may be. Anything that has to do with um, being impressed on your subconscious mind. So things that you allow playing in your mind. And um, once this is fully understood... It allows you to have that belief and understanding that you can do whatever it is that you want. And there's no exceptions. And anyone on the outside, none of them are operating independently of you. So we're never powerless to other people. Um, all we have to do is go within and change conceptions of ourself and other people. And they, in turn, will just reflect an assumption. Um, and one of the beautiful things about this is... Um, it's a perfect way to see what is alive in you. And so whenever I'm reacting to someone, whenever someone aggravates me or says something I don't like or says something that I do like, it's a beautiful opportunity for me to realize as long as I can become aware of it at the time that the reason that they are acting in that way is because there's something alive in me that is making them act that way. And the more... Um, the more you start to kind of understand this, the more we start to really realize that the things that are alive in us, the things that we think of, are extremely crucial to kind of control and guard. Because if not, then you know the people that we uh, that we encounter on the outside are going to reflect negative uh, negative aspects of ourselves. And it's kind of easy to test. And if you have um, if you have manifested before, and you have seen the bridge of incidents that unfold in your life, then you have seen that people play a part to get you the things that you want. And um, one of the things that I had done recently, I can talk about today. Actually, um, a few different things happened to me today. A few manifestations, which are pretty awesome. Normally, what I do every single day, I've been doing this for quite some time, is I make a list of, um, a, you know, quickly every single day of four or five different things that I desire to see manifested in my world in that day or upcoming. Um, and I don't think too hard about any of these things. They are normally random things, easy things, things that are not difficult, things that wouldn't require um, any bit of effort to get. And so yesterday I made a list of, um, I wrote that someone, um, uh, people would call me handsome, right? And I wrote that I would get free coffee. So today, the moment I walked outside of my house to go to work, I crossed the street, I opened my car door, and my neighbor looked over at me and shouted, wow, you look really handsome. Right off the bat, the first thing I heard, and it was a man that said this, and um, you know, the man is straight, so he, he likes women, and so it was just completely out of character for him, yet he had to fill the, um, he had to fill the role that, that I assigned to 
whomever it was that was going to play that role. And it happened to be a man who had never said anything like that to me before, whom I'm not even close with. And the second thing was, is I was walking into work and I was still contemplating that event that had just happened a little bit before. And, but I thought, how is someone going to call me handsome at work? Uh, They probably wouldn't do that because it's a professional environment. And so I thought in my head, a different way to say that is for someone to notice you, right? So I thought someone is going to say and ask me if I got a haircut. So sure enough, I go into work 10 minutes later. Um, my boss says to me, did you get a haircut? And so uh, it was just amazing to watch that these people were entered into a state just to reflect an assumption or an idea that I held. Um, and the third manifestation, and these all happened uh, very shortly after one another, I um, that coffee one. So I, I I wrote down that I got a free coffee, right? So I get a message in my work channel um, at work, and they said that they were um, going to get a free coffee. They were going to go get coffee, right? And normally what that means is that it's on the company. And so I thought to myself, wow, that's amazing. That's the third manifestation, and it happened within two hours. And But at that same moment, I got called into the office to have a conversation about something. And um, you know, a few minutes passed, and I wanted to get out to get my free coffee. So the conversation ended. I went downstairs. I left the building, and I couldn't see where anybody went. So I decided to walk over towards Starbucks. I figured that since it's the closest, um, the, the closest coffee shop to me, that that's probably where they all went. So I walked to Starbucks, I walked inside and I realized that um, no one was there for my work. So um, I had already, um, uh, I, I had decided that I wasn't going to buy the coffee. So instead I bought food And I just assumed, you know, I was thinking to myself, like, is the food going to be free? This is just what I'm thinking in my mind. Well, I paid for my call. uh, I'm sorry. I paid for my food. Um, It wasn't free. And I was just walking outside thinking, oh, well. Um, But right before I got to the door, I heard the the words, hey, Joe. So I looked over. It was a barista from behind the counter. And what she she said to me was, um, I learned how to make two new drinks yesterday. Can I make one for you, please? And I said, sure. And she said, it's free. And so she ended up making me this extremely delicious Grecian coffee, which is basically two shots of espresso and um, honey and heavy cream whipped and um, cinnamon on top. And so it was just so profound um, that um, even though the one co- I was supposed to get the coffee from work for free, but you know my my higher self, the God within me, knows that I love to see my manifestations. So someone played the part to um, out of all the people in the Starbucks, which was there. There was probably about six different people in the Starbucks. She remembered my name. She called me out, and she gave me the drink and no one else. And so uh, it's just amazing. The fact that, um, you know, the things that the fleeting thoughts in my mind, the little ideals or ideas that I hold in myself, um, those will be reflected outside by people and they will be forced to play a part. And the part will be to prove to me the things that I am thinking. And um, the last one is the lady. So I, I was holding an idea in my mind about, um, I, I had, I had woken up on the wrong side of the bed. Okay. I had a bad day. I was, I was cranky. Um, and I got home and I went to go check my messages and someone had attacked me and they were calling me names and instantly I reacted. And as I reacted, this just fed back and forth, back and forth. And suddenly, you know, my instincts kicked in and I thought, this is only a reflection of me. So I sat down for a second. I relaxed. I took some deep breaths. I imagined myself being happy and peaceful. And um, and as soon as I did that, the woman completely stopped messaging me entirely. And the person whom I was talking to was uh, very argumentative before that and had to get the last word. And so... When I did this 
um, you know, when I, when I did this work and I felt myself being peaceful and happy and I opened my eyes, I realized and she did not respond ever again. And, and I even had the last word, which was amazing. And so what it's very useful for is, um, to see what is alive in you, because if you're not getting what you, what you want, or if you are, um, encountering a lot of scenes in this world that are undesirable, um, it's irrefutable, and I've proven this more times than I can possibly even think of, that everyone is only playing a part that you have assigned them. And so you can use this to your advantage because, um, you know, it's, it's the way that we're brought up in this world is that we think that other people are operating independently and that we have zero control unless we physically or verbally say something to somebody um and and what that does is it it brings this sense of powerlessness to an extent over our environment over the people in it and what happens in our lives but once we start to really fully understand that every single person everyone without exception is only acting um according to our assumptions and beliefs then we can then go in and change how we feel and then see the reflection on the outside. And we also know then that everyone will only play that part. So no matter what it is that the person is doing or saying to you, when we go within and change ourselves, they will change as well um, because it's impossible not to because we're all one. And we cannot see something in our awareness that is not a reflection of us because nothing can exist unless it ima it's imagined first. And, um, you know, people get that kind of confused. They think, well, you know, I didn't tell her to attack me or, you know, they, they go into the specifics of the, um, of the event. It doesn't have to be that way. What it just has to be is some mood or emotion or imaginal thought or, or assumption of how the world works or that, you know, people don't treat me with respect or people do treat me with respect or people think I'm important. Um, I, I, I recently had this, um, this thought that, um, and I wrote this down, I wrote, I am important. And within two days, one lady at the coffee shop, she literally said to me, you look important. What do you do? And then another person whom I know, when we were walking across the street, he said to me, I like that coat. It makes you look important. And so I did not imagine any of those people specifically saying these things to me. I just had the feeling and I wrote it down that I'm important. And what happened was a natural bridge of incidents unfolds. Anyone and everyone will be used to prove to you the thing that you assume about yourself. And so what you can do is imagine and assume that you're lucky or that you see tons of manifestations all day long or that you're happy or that you're rich or that you're married and you assume that feeling. And no matter what, the people in your lives will either take a role to play a part in getting you to where you, you are assuming that you are or um, it will be mirrored everywhere. Just everyone will be proving to you the thing that you um, the thing that you assume. And so, in the end, I just want to say that you can use this to really understand yourself, because no one is operating outside of yourself. No one can operate in your awareness outside of yourself. And so, if you're wondering why you're being treated a certain way, or you're not getting what you want. You can simply talk to other people, a lot of people, and you can then get the understanding by the way people are treating you, that is exactly what is alive within you. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, hit the bell icon, um, go to the website SovereignMind.com for more stuff like this, and stay tuned for more information, techniques, stories, and um, a lot of other amazing stuff. So thank you.